Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most ghost. Today we got night two of the United Kingdom Championship Tournament. Um, this one was just dubbed NXT United Kingdom um, Championship Tournament. I, I don't know why they you know, named them two different things, but before we get into it and down to business, take some time and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So like I said in part one, um, really enjoyed part one, but it kind of dragged on a bit at times. Night two, a little bit quicker pace. We got a lot of the NXT T guys here, so that's probably why it's called NXT UK. Um, we have now the NXT ropes, the yellow ropes. We got the NXT turnbuckles. We have the different canvas. So it's like they completely revamped from night one to night two. I'm um, not sure why, but it, it all could have just been uh, the NXT UK title tournament. So with that out of the way, it's very confusing when you're reviewing stuff like this. So again, night two took place on a, uh, June 26th, 2018, from the Royal Albert Hall. Not sure if the crowd um, faded a bit on night two as opposed to night one, but you know, the, the lights were dimmed quite a bit on night two. But night two seemed to fly by a lot quicker, only ran about two and a half hours compared to the three hours the previous night. A um, little bit, you know, urgency, as I said, uh, opposed to part one. So we have four championships on the line tonight. Um, and to kick it off with uh, night two, we have the NXT Tag Teams Championships on the line. The Undisputed Era defends against Mustache Mountain which uh, I'm not a fan of that name. Uh, I've said it in a night one video. So this is uh, Trent Seven and Tyler Bate against Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong. I really like Kyle O'Reilly quite a bit. He might be my favorite at, in uh, Undisputed Era. I, I know Adam Cole is super over, and we didn't get to Adam Cole here. He must have been preparing for his match later on tonight. So, night one, Tyler Bate did the airplane spin into the giant swing. We didn't see that combination, but we did see another airplane spin tonight. Uh, he uh, turns that into a torture rack, and uh, Trent Seven hits the knee up for the win. We have new NXT Tag Team Championships to start the show. Now, a lot of people had a problem with this, that uh, WWE sent out notifications spamming the uh, title change. But, um, you know, could this have been the wrong time to pull the titles off Undisputed Era? Who knows? But, you know, these guys are going to be super over in Brooklyn. I'm really looking forward to uh, NXT in Brooklyn once again. Uh, second match of the night would be a, a women's division match between Killer Kelly and uh, Charlie Morgan. Charlie Morgan, her uh, her tagline is fearless. Now, I don't know where I've heard that before, but it sounds familiar to me. Um, how about the Bella, Nikki Bella? Uh, you know, she, she dressed pretty similar to Bella. She had like the rap music going for her theme, um, the backwards hat. Um, but um, I believe Charlie Morgan wins with a roll-up out of nowhere. So Killer Kelly didn't fare too well on uh, night one or night two. Third match of the night was supposed to be a, a triple threat uh, match for the number one contendership of the UK title. Um, Johnny Sane uh, cut a, like a, a pre-tape saying I, I've announced a triple threat for the number one contendership between Travis Banks, Flash Morgan Webster, and Mark Andrews. 
out of nowhere, Noam Dar returns after six months on the shelf and wins the match. So Noam Dar is your number one contender for the UK title. Um, after the match, the Coffee brothers, remember Joe Coffee from uh, last night? Joe Coffee and his brother Mark Coffee, the Coffee boys are back here uh, and they kind of attack uh, Travis Banks. Um, they do a number on him. His arm's still taped up. Um, Noam Dar, who looks like he's going to make a save, but he's just like, eh, the hell with you guys. So, a little bit of a heel heat for uh, Noam Dar and the Coffee Brothers. Um, the Coffee Brothers looks like they're going to be a tag team in the NXT UK division. Uh, the tag division, anyway. So, we're establishing tag teams. We're establishing, um, you know, uh, women here. Looks like a good show so far. Really, really uh, urgent. Fourth match of the night would be for the NXT North American Championship. Wolfgang would be taking on Adam Cole, the champion here. I thought this was a great match. You know, Wolfgang is a much bigger guy than uh, Adam Cole. Adam Cole, super over once again, night one and night two. Adam Cole is very popular. He's one of those guys you could pull out of NXT right now. You could probably put him on Raw, put him on SmackDown if you want, and Adam Cole could be your top guy. I believe he could. Um, he, he's just very popular. He, he gets it. Um, great match, like I said. Cole ends up winning with his uh, last shot finisher, and uh, he is over as ever. So I didn't really expect that title to change. He did just win it in New Orleans. Moving along here, um, we got a backstage promo from uh, Tyler Bate and Trent Seven, and then. Um, Nothing too special, but um, on commentary, I believe Mauro Ronaldo says we have a talent deal between NXT and NXT UK, um, you know, just to promote uh, the upcoming match. Fifth match of the night would be between the Velveteen Dream and EC3, a tag team match, but going against Ricochet and Aleister Black, the NXT champion. Uh, Black and Dream end up starting the match out, and this would be like a uh, revisit to their previous match, I believe, which was at uh, the Royal Rumble uh, takeover, or if not, it was the, the previous one. Uh, I thought this was a decent match. Seemed like they were trying to do a lot, and, and it, it really just wasn't clicking for me. Um, at the end, Velveteen Dream ends up walking out don't know if he was injured, he was playing off, he bumped his leg. Um, EC3 is in the ring like, where are you going, where are you going, man? And uh, he turns around, Aleister Black hits the Black Mask kick, Black pins EC3. After the match, uh, they're celebrating, Ricochet ends up grabbing the NXT title for whatever reason, hands it to Black, and uh, you know, Ricochet is another guy. He's so good, and... You know, I, I can uh, appreciate the things he does. Ricochet is another guy. You could probably put him on WWE. He could be one of your top champions. Although I don't believe WWE would use him right. I could see him definitely being uh, an IC champion for sure. Sixth match of the night would be bet between Tony Storm and Shayna Baszler. This would be for the NXT women's championship i thought this was a good match um you know there there was a, a little bit of confusion here early on in the match where it's like they were trying to uh you know do a little do -si do but one would go bounce off the ropes the next one would go bounce off the ropes they weren't really whipping each other around so maybe a little bit of confusion here but um tony storm um escapes the uh rear naked choke once the second time she escapes by grabbing the ropes. Um, Shayna Baszler locks in the rear naked choke outside the ring. And Tony Storm is counted out. Um, 
So Shayna Baszler retains by count out. She's got a huge smile on her face. Um, so after the match, Shayna Baszler is walking up the ramp. She comes back to the ring, locks in the rear naked choke once again. And um, that's about it. And, uh, you know, Shayna Baszler isn't the best on the mic. I believe she also has a lot of work to uh, to improve herself quite a bit. So... Uh, it was a good match for what it was, though. Um, Tony Storm, like I, I believe I said in uh, the night one review, Tony Storm, you could put her on SmackDown, put her on Raw, and she could be one of your top women. Um, she's that good. She's beautiful. Um, she she knows her craft. Seventh match of the night, the main event of this whole thing would be for the WWE United Kingdom Championship. Pete Dunne defends against Zach Gibson. I thought this was a great match. The United Kingdom Championship is WWE's best looking title they have right now. Um, the thing is beautiful. Um, there's not too much color on it. It's got, you know, the, the perfect shape. It's got the, the crescent, the crest, or, uh, you know, the, the UK stuff on there. Absolutely beautiful championship. So at one point in the match, Pete Dunne hits a X-Plex on the ramp, and Zach Gibson is, you know, selling his ass off. Um, the X-Plex is pretty much just like a, pretty much a, a suplex, but Pete Dunne doesn't fall back. Pretty much just suplexes him and, you know, kind of just drops him. Uh, Pete Dunne hits the bitter end for a two count. Um... At one point, Zach Gibson locks in the Shankly gates, but Pete Dunne gets to the ropes. Um, Gibson locks in the Shankly gates for a second time, and Pete Dunne escapes once again. Pete Dunne ends up hitting the bitter end for a three count. Dunne retains the UK title. After the match, Triple H, Johnny Saint, and the NXT roster all come out on the ramp and, you know, kind of congratulating uh, Pete Dunne and the overall experience for the show. Overall, I would definitely highly recommend you guys check out the Night 2, at least if you don't want to check out Night 1. Um, night 2 felt a little bit faster paced, a little bit more urgency for uh, matches. So that was my one complaint about night one is it dragged on a little bit. But overall, guys, you know, you got over five hours of wrestling between two nights. Um, great crowd, great environment here. Uh, I believe Solo Monster from the Solo Monster Sounds Offset kind of reminds him of like the, uh, the, not the ECW arena, but the, uh, the, the, New, the New York one. The Hammerstein Ballroom there in New York City where they held a one night stand in 2005 and 2006. Um, great environment, great atmosphere. The crowd was really hot for both nights. Um, there wasn't really any downtime in between matches. It was just boom, 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 boom. Match, 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 match. Um, very, very good. I enjoyed both matches or both nights. Pete Dunne is a star. Um, he could go on Raw, SmackDown, like I said, with several other, other guys. And Pete Dunn, he could be a top guy for sure. So let me know your thoughts on uh, Night 2 here, guys. Take some time and subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you later. Peace!